Here at St Margaret Ward Catholic Academy, the staff and students are taking part in workshops which explore the emotional well-being of our students. With the pressure of modern life, many of our students have to deal with challenging situations. Earlier, I interviewed Mrs Pritchard, the Deputy Principal of St Margaret Ward. Hello Mrs Pritchard, um, today I just want to like, I would like to ask you a few questions about health and well-being of the students in our school. Um, the first question, uh, what do you hope the students will get from this day? So today we're having what we call an Every Child Matters Day and it's a day when normal lessons are suspended for the children and we introduce a range of activities that we, will f that we feel will benefit all of our children. And today's focus um, is focused on um, helping the children to understand the feelings, how to have healthy relationships inside and out of school, how to stay safe, and looking at their emotions and how to deal with sadness, anger and joy. So we put that day to day together so that children can just focus a little bit more on how they deal with those issues um, outside of the normal curriculum because we feel it's really important to have that opportunity. Um, how do you promote health and well-being um, in students? This year in particular we have decided that we will have a real drive on raising the awareness for everybody in the community on health and well-being. Um, we're very aware that there are lots of young people and adults who deal with pressures of life and the pressures of school and it can have an impact on their health emotionally and physically. So over the last year we have got a team together, a health and wellbeing team, a group of staff um, and I've also talked to students about it and we've been looking at how we can promote the subject in this school. So uh, we've been working together on putting a joint policy together. We're looking at how we are training our staff. Uh, so last week, um, seven teachers and support staff went out to gain a tier one qualification, including myself, on raising awareness in mental health. Um, at the moment, we are in a program called Driving the 10 Keys to Happiness. Um, and each week, the form tutors are focusing on a specific aspect of well-being. So that might be exercise or doing things for others. And so we promote that with the tutors and we ask them to do an activity each week with the children. So we're slowly drip feeding different aspects uh, through assemblies and through discussion, uh, raising the awareness with children. And then today is just another um, focus point for that. Um, what advice would you personally give to teenagers? Well, I've just been in two assemblies this morning, uh, working with Year 7 and Year 8, and uh, the focus has been for them about to consider their emotions, um, to think about their actions before they do things, um, to think about the sorts of behaviours they demonstrate, whether that's to other people or for themselves, and most of all, to consider what makes them be safe and be happy. So part of the focus today has been on about their own personal safety and well-being and the pressures that they would have to deal with as a teenager or a young adult. Um, so it's trying to educate and to support and to give them ideas about what to do in those situations. Do we in the school provide support individually to young carers and if so, how? We do um, and what we try to do is we try to find out in very sensitive ways who are young carers and that's probably the biggest issue for us is that, that we're not completely aware of how many of our children actually have to look after um, adults or other siblings in the home. Um, when we are aware that there is a young carer in school we have conversations with the young person and we ask my safeguarding manager Mrs Holcroft will work with the young person and ask how we can provide support for them in the home. We will also um, involve support from the local authority with the member of staff who's in charge of young carers and they will do with our safeguarding manager home visits to see what the situation is. Um, we actually spoke to a young carer who was good enough to explain the type of things that she has to do. Um, does the school work with any outside agency agencies to support them? Yeah. Um, once we know the issues within the home, so that the young carers might be dealing with disability or with mental health in an adult, 
or unemployment or it, the, the issues can be very varied. What we will do is we will speak to our colleagues who work for local authority or for charities or for agencies and we will um, signpost the family to those agencies. But those issues can be to do with many, many things. Um, but we have a great relationship with all our agencies in Stoke-on-Trent and with the school. So we will provide individual help. Um, a difficult question to ask is, um, does the school support carers when the inevitable happens? Yes, we would always look to the needs of the individual family first. So in school, what I think St Margaret Ward is particularly good at is to look at how we can support families first before we demand huge expectations on the students. So we would always say that we would provide any support um, in whatever way that we would, so whether that would be having a reduced timetable for the young person, allowing them to leave school early in an evening or to come in late. So we would look at individual ways of supporting the family and the student, perhaps um, introducing different things through the day or different people in the day who might be able to support the child. But yeah, we, would, we would provide individual support. Thank you so much, Mrs Pritchard. Thank I you, I hope you're Rabeel. successful with um, achieving your thought. Thank you, Rabeel. Thank you for the interview. And good luck with your BBC School report today. Thank you. This school is no different to any other school in the country. Every school has its own student carers and every school has to rise to these challenges the students face. We have officially 13 young carers, however there may be many more who we don't know about. This is Real Farhat reporting from BBC News School Report.